Hello everybody, welcome back to Builds and welcome back to yet again another part of this modern mansion let's build. So straight away, let's get into the build, let's get this thing started. We have a lot to do this episode and you know what, uh, we may actually be getting started on the back of the build soon. Uh, since I have no schematics, I've actually found a location for this house where it was um, planning to be built. So uh, I have an idea of a few of the modern houses around the area and what they look like. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. I guess we can find out what needs to be done. So starting off for this today's video, what you're going to want to do come to this last window pane on the uh, light grey stained glass pane at the end here. In line with that, come back one, two and then on the third block go up to like this and you're going to want to come across all the way until you reach the edge of this window right here I believe actually no let's take one off there there we go so guys then you're going to want to bring this across and actually let's go one two three like that um, be much easier actually if we just set this so if we just go there there and then we just go slash slash uh, 78 3 there we go and then we're going to come back and say 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 blocks or maybe 5 yeah I think 5 would look a little bit sleeker so let's do that and you're going to have this free slate of snow pattern going around the whole build so today we're going to get all the uh, front sides uh, uh, exterior done I think that would be the best thing to do in a situation uh, and then we can um, of course I need to do a little bit more research and then I can find out how to properly model the back of this build to suit the existing exterior because of course they didn't actually have any plans of what this should look like on the front so that really did suck so I'm gonna kind of have to make it up but you know what it's gonna look cool because I've got some good ideas for it but no worries whatsoever there, just wait for you to update, there you go, uh, and you're just going to go to slash slash air this, hopefully I've done this in the right position, yeah I did, ok that's cool, whoops, there we go, sorry about that, just wait for it to update again, and while it does that we're just going to go get ourselves out with some glass, just some standard glass here and guys for some reason my glass decided to update to the Huntington's one I didn't actually change the normal glass so that was really really strange so um, sorry about the glass it does look a little bit worse than Flo's HD glass but the stained glass definitely does look amazing you guys are wondering what texture pack I'm using I'm using the Flo's HD texture pack with the Huntington city pack of stained glass since uh, it just suits this build so much better like I said, in about a month, I'm actually bringing out my own edit of Flows HD. So uh, all the small little things that you know you see on a daily basis when building with Flows, you're like that could be improved. And me as a builder, I've noticed a lot about the build. Uh, I'm going to improve a huge ton of stuff. You know what? I think this looks a little bit too chunky on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this free snow detail. And I know a few people are actually building this on survival, which is just mental. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it will save you a little bit of snow as well. As you can see, it just looks way more sleek. That's all cool. So, on this area, we have a kind of blind pattern, it looks like. It looks like blinds. Yeah, I think it's blinds. So, what we need to do over here is we need to uh, just model some stuff. So, this area right here, this is going to need to be a bigger gap. So, we're going to go take out this area that crosses over the stairs. And it would obviously make it a lot more practical. Let's just slash, slash, replace out of this, guys. Uh, sorry about the um, ping if it does seem a little bit bad, that's because I'm also uploading while uh, doing this video. So we're going to take rid of this. Uh, this is unfortunately in a snow biome, so every single time I have to come on a server I have to replace all of this snow with air, uh, which is kind of a pain recently. But you know what, no worries, again no worries. Uh, let's just, are you full block? Yeah you are, okay we don't need to remove that. So my snow would come back that would be awesome let's just pick you up uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get out flooring material in here so that is some snow that's awesome 
and you're going to want to connect this up so it's in line with the existing wall and then we're just going to fill in this area with snow so let's just fly up here and apply the command awesome stuff uh, is this actually a little bit oh yeah that's why sorry about that guys it is uh, 80 I believe not that yeah yeah come on update update yeah so it's 80 otherwise it's just the slates uh, and then you can't build on slates forgot about that and this is actually a really cool little feature of the build which I didn't realize uh, this has this kind of car park which um, not car park um, garage parking system which basically works by the actual build having like a um, having like an upwards driveway you park the car here and then the car goes down you know into the living room where we have our Bugatti Veyron part there it's so smart this build literally the architects this is literally a, a build where money money is basically nothing to a person it's just something you know that they they earn way too much of uh, and if you have that situation you're gonna end up getting a house like this uh, so you're gonna want to bring this back so it is one two three four blocks away from this edge of the uh, staircase and so it is two in front of this wall you're gonna then wanna go to fill this wall I'm just gonna use some cheeky water to speed up the process there we go water that is so useful literally Having my own server now, and I'm currently building on a YouTuber called Smithers Boss's private server. We both have our own private servers. My server um, is going to be public soon. I know Lewis is, is going to be private since he's doing his theme park series on here, and he needs everything to be, you know, as lag-free as possible. But my server will definitely be up. Um, Probably I'd say in around a month now because we've got to do a lot more changes and a lot of work has to be done. But if you're a good enough builder guys you will be able to come on and build on my server and uh, the, what do you call it, the limitations to my server are going to be very high. So you, know, you have to be a very very talented builder to come on but of course if you're not you know you're not all there yet with building and you're still learning. I mean I used to be a crap builder once believe it or not. I used to be a lot worse than a lot of people out there, uh, but I just got good after practice and watching Corrales. So, you know, if you're still in the practice uh, stages, you can come on as a visitor. You don't have to uh, worry about a thing. I'm sure eventually you'll get there and become good enough. So, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to actually take this out by one. And the reason for that is the picture suggests that this is actually a tiny bit longer, and this wall right here is going to be brought out by one as well. Give it a little bit more definition. I'm just going to bring it across now, like so. And have a look at that from range. You know, we can always shorten it, but yeah, yeah, you see that it just gives it that tad more definition. Looks cooler now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the back of the build. Wow, uh, it's going to take a while. And then we're going to bring this back right here. We're going to bring this back one, two, three, four, five, say five, six and then you're going to want to bring it in even more and you're going to want to come across uh, one, two, three, like that and once again we're going to use some word edit to speed up the procedure and I don't know what this part of the build is guys but you know it's going to be interesting to find out what this is of course like I said we've got to do a lot more research uh, because this build has just got so many features in it it's actually unreal I'm thinking of including a smooth uh, like so a few small extra details don't even know what word I just made up there <laughs> but I'm thinking of including some of my own details of this build just to make it look even more cool oh okay the back is starting to actually come along from since I've planned this so like tense planning has really gone into this uh, you can actually see that from all my forward planning the build itself is actually coming along let's get rid of you so guys there's actually more work to be done to this side and one thing that needs to be done is this wall right here believe it or not it's quite confusing really why they even did this to the build but this is green stained clay if you've been paying attention you would have noticed that so what we need to do is I don't know how this is gonna plan out I really do not know but uh, it's quite interesting did not expect this from the build you're going to want to change this whole wall here so I'm going to mark out where you're going to want to change it so from that block there to um, 
but let's see how far. See, the picture, guys, this is one problem. The picture ends around about here. So it's up to here. And the other thing is, you're also going to need to delete this right here. Because it uh, turns out that this little side thing. If you guys are wondering why my phones are floating, I've got stop lag on, which is like a server command to stop that from stop things from falling off, which is really handy when building. Uh, so it's going to end about there, and that's where you're going to want to plan out the walls, guys. Um, there's actually one I can actually see slightly past it, and uh, what you're going to want to do is you're also going to want to bring out a wall. This wall is going to come up by two too wide and it's gonna come across it's gonna come up to here and um, no, sorry my apologies uh, it's gonna come up to here right here this is quite confusing to actually see then it's gonna come all the way across uh, don't worry about these black details guys uh, I can show you how to get rid of these as well and you're then going to let's see what is this half a block awesome stuff okay awesome stuff yeah what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna replace that I'm gonna have to do a lot of this on camera since it's quite hard to explain uh, just like so and you're gonna wanna continue that now across to here and then just drop it down bring this one up and then this connects up to here quite interesting uh, and this kind of stops around about here then you have a secondary support which actually overlaps here so like I said you're going to need to delete this wall so let's just quickly go do that and this whole wall in fact needs to be removed so let's just go do view there is actually some snow whoops did it not mark out second position let's try that again Getting a little bit of ping lag, like I said, because we're uploading, but things should work accordingly. Whoops, oh no, that's why I accidentally had it on that command. There we go, yeah. That gets confusing. Alright, so once you've done that, what you're going to want to do now is you're just going to want to jump back a block, and you're going to want to come across one, two, three, three like so. You're going to want to build this all the way up to the roof, and this is just a singular support. bring up all the way up to there. I know it kind of looks a bit strange guys, I do agree but this is how the build is built and you know if this video does well people are going to see that and you know then it will create hate comments and plus on top of this I'm trying to get it as uh, realistic as possible. Um, seems to be like that, it's really really weird. So if you put it like that it looks like it has no meaning to it but I really don't know guys, it's just really, really weird. Maybe we should just go ahead and just ditch this whole wall here, maybe. And just have this one behind, maybe. I don't know, there's loads of stuff that we can try out. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks so much better. Okay guys, so once you've done that, you're going to want to leave a free gap, so one, two, three. And then your, let's see, three or two, two gap even. Uh, we just need a bit more space. And you're going to want to fill in this section of the wall. Unfortunately, I don't need, I don't know the, uh, what do you call it again? The world edit code for green stain clay. Uh, I actually use a website which is really useful, and I'm slowly learning them. You know, water, snow. Uh, but you got to eventually, you'll just know them all off by heart. I'm still learning all the world edit codes, but there's a few that I still don't know. There we go, almost there. Kind of thinking that should maybe be one, maybe. You know what? That's cool. We can keep it like that. That looks fine. All right. So once you've done that, what you're going to want to do now is wrap this around the front of the build. So you're going to want to delete all these uh, cut slabs. And fortunately, these are underneath some uh, dirt. They were designed to be under there to cover up the dirt, and that is the true format for it. <laughs> it looks kind of cool, kind of funky, a little weird, but you know what? It can stay there. And this guys, this comes up all the way here. Just like so. And then in fact we are using some stained clay. 
to finish off this section of the build it seems. Let me just zoom in on this picture that I have. Well it's like a very very pale green as it kind of appears. It's definitely not white so I guess we're going to go with some clay. I kind of want white stained clay but white stained clay kind of just looks like a bad snow. So yeah, that should be fine. Um, we're going to just go ahead and make the new pillar supports which are um, going to be here. You're going to want to come back one, two, three. Yeah, three, so it's in line with the one below it. And then just connect this all the way up to the ceiling height. Like so, and you're going to want to have this just like that. And then you're going to delete this one. I don't know if it's going to be not in line inside. If it is, I do apologize, guys, for you OCD viewers. I really do apologize. Um, but you're going to want to change this whole wall, which I will skip the video to to save a bit of time. You're going to want to change this whole wall here, guys, this white uh, snow wall, just to stained clay, just standard clay. So once you've done that, I'll meet you guys back in a sec. Okay guys, so welcome your faces back. So I've made a few small off-camera tweaks as well as the original ones. So, what we have now here is this awesome looking wall. Uh, we now have uh, some stone slabs underneath here, uh, just to support it. This is now being brought out an extra, I think it was two blocks, uh, where you'll be able to see from the changes made. Uh, and the green stained clay has been lightly laid across in like half a slab form. Across here we now have a different bush design as you can see which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 as you can see and it's separated just like so by three blocks. Hopefully you guys are going to get all the correct measurements for that there. So moving in, the Bugatti has been rotated round like shown in the original picture. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the sides grey stain clay just to uh, improve the look of it. As you can see, it looks more flush now. And we have our Bugatti Veyron just behind here. One thing we have to do is delete this wall. This was only put up as temporary, so let's just get our wooden axe out so we can just go do that. There we go, and all you're going to need to really do guys is just go like that, and then just go slash slash replace, uh, just like so, if you're using wild edit that is of course. So let me just join this up that's been accidentally deleted, and then we'll finish off this let's build. There we go. So there's going to be like a small compact little feature in this room. I don't know. Maybe a downstairs toilet. I think that would be very logical. It's having a small little room like that. You know, not much space to work with. Another thing that you may notice is the stair design has been changed. In the picture is like this kind of glass stairish design. We have stone, which is the closest match to that. We have some glass on the side. And this just leads up to where I've separated a two gap with the... Uh, stained glass there and left the column through but you can walk up and eventually out the back of your house so that is that there guys and as you can see if I just take a little step back how much the build has come in this episode it has really made some great progress so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back now and we're gonna start on a little bit of planning a little bit of room planning just around here so what you're going to want to do is get yourself out some snow. Let me just zoom in on this picture guys before I start the project. Alright, so okay now I know what to do. You're going to want to place a block here up to about there. So it's in line with this column here. You're going to want to come back all the way to this section of the wall here. And you're going to want to bring this up all the way to the ceiling height. Which eventually will be extended back if you guys are like, you know, why the hell is there not a ceiling there? You know, there will be. I'm gonna actually bring this back a little bit more. So we're gonna bring this back three. Just have a look at how we doing for room here. You know what? That looks cool. I also don't have an aerial view, guys. So to do with little sneak peeks, uh, little kind of details and changes in rooms and stuff. I have to put together an idea of what everything looks like, which is quite challenging, but you know, it's fun in a way. 
so this is going to connect through like this and then going to connect up through here and across here and we might need to recreate an overhang of some blocks let's just take a peek oh, it's looking fine it's looking good uh, so what you're going to want to do is just create an overhang on the back here until we know what to do with this room here. I guess I'm going to have to come up with that idea myself, but you know there's no problems with that whatsoever. So what we're going to do in this small little compact room, guys, is we're going to get ourselves out some... Let's see what we got here. What kind of flooring we got. It kind of looks like oak. So let's just get out some oak slabs. I'm going to come in, I think you need at least as much space for a staircase, and there's just going to be two, it's just going to be two wide, so it's in line with the window, and it looks good, so you're just going to want to bring that up, and actually, it's perfect, but I'm not agreeing with the two, although it kind of is realistic, I think we can do something better, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete it away from the window to give ourselves a little bit more space there, which seems to be needed, I'm going to change it to three, see it just looks so much better and then at the back here what we're going to do is get ourselves out some black stained clay because from what I can see here uh, there is a sofa now guys if your black stained uh, clay is like a brownie color which is defaults like I've said this a lot actually for some reason the default minecraft texture pack actually has black stained clay as brown <laughs> why they did that I do not know but they did it so you know, I'd recommend using a different material. I always try and give people a variant design. So what you're going to want to do is come across this far. Uh, let's see. Probably about to here, actually. That looks good. And then in the middle here, we're going to just use some simple snow. So it's a very, very basic design, guys. I think we're going to have something like oak wood and flooring in here. So once we do a few additional exterior tweaks and stuff, it will look a ton better. So you're going to want to bring this up to about there. So once you've done that, turns out this design right here is actually oak. So what you're going to want to do is get yourselves up some oak and change this wall right here to some oak blocks. This is going to be a very interesting build, guys. I have no idea which way it's going to turn out. I knew I was taking an extreme challenge and maybe a challenge for my actual channel popularity. Pop I can't speak today, by the way. <laughs> uh, I was uh, maybe taking a small risk so it should look something like that sorry about that guys we had a quick server restart there uh, no problems though no problems uh, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to create like a tiny little like a side like a little side seat so you're just going to bring this up by about 5 in height just like that a simple just for now of course there's going to be a hell ton of changes you know we got a lot of work to do on this build but you know for now that does look pretty good of course the oak flooring will be extended but like I said you know we got a lot of work to do so what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to wrap up the video a tiny bit shorter than usual uh, I have been overshooting my videos a lot recently uh, just due to you know a lot of stuff happening don't worry about the ice by the way guys uh, like I said it's in the snow biome so every time I reset you know it kind of screws up so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to pop a like you know I spent a lot of time effort and research trying to get these videos out for you especially the mansion you know it's been a bitch to make but it's looking awesome uh, so also remember to subscribe if you like my content you want to see more you'll be automatically notified when I upload videos uh, so that's cool and that would also really help out my channel so thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next part of the mansion less but see you guys there